in life, in every situation, we will find problems, we'll find incompletions, but they will neither allow us to proceed in the outer world, nor allow us to proceed in the inner world. We'll be just stuck. This is called as Trobhava, delusion of the five functions, operations of Paramashiva. All other four are okay. Creation is okay, sustenance is okay, even rejuvenation is okay. Liberation is okay, but delusion is the worst punishment, status quo, being stuck and don't know what to do. Patterns keep us in Trobhava, status quo, being stuck. Decide to come to completion with the Guru. If we drop GDHD, the Guru doubt, Guru hatred, Guru denial, we drop SDHD, self-hatred, self-doubt, and self-denial. The decision to come to completion makes us see precisely where the incompletions are hiding, allows us to move forward from the space of completion. According to modern day popular science, vacuum is the absence of matter. But in Sanatana Hindu Dharma, vacuum is energy. Matter is manifestation of energy. Then, how do we define vacuum? In modern day, science has changed its view. Now scientists are coming up with the clear-cut idea that no such thing as vacuum can be created. Even in space where we say vacuum exists, ether is present. Ether is the gross form of energy. Science is also coming up with the fact that ether is also matter. It can be measured and handled. Science has evolved to the extent that it can understand spiritual truths to a certain degree. They've started understanding that vacuum is not the absence of matter, it's the absence of a certain parts of matter. There are five major elements, earth, fire, water, air, ether. Vacuum is the absence of four of these major elements, earth, water, fire, air, that's all. It's not the absence of matter, it's the absence of four elements. Thousands of years ago, the Eastern Rishis developed the science of Vastu Shastra, it's the science that teaches one how to utilize the power of ether in daily life. It's the technique of building homes and houses in a way that the ether energy is enclosed in the space of the home in the best way possible. Today, scientists are working to understand methods of how to use ether. So accordingly, vacuum is energy. Vacuum is not the absence of matter. We complete today's segment with a truth from the source. Whenever you want to manifest your reality, Cosmos celebrates you.